Yes, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Who loved you when no one else could, and who saved you when no one else would? It was Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to Luke chapter 24. I'm going to read. Uh, Verses 15 through 20, I believe. Move 24. that while they communed together in reason, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were holy that they should not know him. And he said unto them, What manner of communications are these that ye have one to another as ye walk and are sad? And the one of, and the one of them whose name was Answering said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem, and hast not known the things which are come to pass therein these therein these days? And he said unto them, What things? And they said and they said unto him concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet mighty indeed, and a word before God and all the people, and now and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. And then we go to uh, 25 through 31. Then he said unto them, O fools and slow of heart, to believe all that the prophets have spoken, ought not Christ to have suffered these things? And to enter into his glory. And beginning at Moses and all of the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures and things concerning himself. And they drew nigh unto the village whither they went, and he made as and he made as though he would have gone further. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us. For it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to carry with them. And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, and took bread and blessed it, and break and gave to them. And their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and vanished out of their sight. I was sitting on the porch, and whenever I realized this, it kind of surprised me. But um, they didn't know who Jesus was until he broke the bread. And after he blessed it, broke the bread, and then started handing it out to them, they finally realized who he was. But whenever us as Christians... Whether we're a preacher or we're just testifying, we're testifying to somebody out in public or anything. In order to be able to do that, people to see Christ through us, we have to be holy as our Father in Heaven is holy. Yeah. And what really stuck out to me here was when He blessed it, and then He broke the bread, and then He handed it to Him. When He blessed it, they probably got just a little bit of who He was. And then He broke it, and then... He gave it to him, And when I seen this, I was like, well, we got to pray. You know, that's 
pretty much he blessed the food. And then whenever we get in public and stuff, we're clean. Nobody can see Christ through us if our temple is ungodly because he won't dwell in an unclean temple. And when they noticed it, I seen like how they grasped a hold of it. When he began to break the bread, I could see him breaking the bread. And there's a lot of times we get discouraged. Well, I do. If there's a scripture I can't figure out. Yeah. I pray about it. I'll fast about it. I'll do anything to understand that scripture. And then we come to church, and most of the time I get it through preaching. When the man of God or woman of God standing behind the pulpit, and they start to break the bread. Yeah. Sometimes you have to break it into little pieces for certain people. Yeah. Sometimes we just need to break it down in tinier, tinier pieces for certain people. I know there's a lot of times I need it broken down in just itty bitty pieces. Crumbs. Yeah. The crumbs that fall from the rich man's table. Yeah. And when I could see him breaking the bread, I could see their eyes being opened. Yeah. Hallelujah. Their eyes being opened to Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank and you, I really Jesus. begin to think about Danny. Think about my cousins. Think about my family. Yes. In order for them to see God, they got to see Him through us. Yeah. They got to see God in the way that we walk, the way that we talk, the way that we see, and the way that we hear. And in order for them to see that, we got to testify to Him. We got to be who we need to be. And like Dad said earlier, He has to say a little something about God. Every time he talks to Danny, he talks Every to time. anybody. Yes. Well, I was in the vehicle with Danny the other day, and it came upon me to give him the last few dollars that I had. So me and Gabby, we put it together. It was like $19, I think. I stuck it down in the back. And then a little bit later after that, we were uh, just talking and stuff, and Danny, he was down to hardly anything. And... I remember I was telling him, I said, there's been multiple people, they just find money. I said, when you desperately need it, you'll find it. It'll be there. Yeah. I said, mom and dad's done it. Wayne and Helen's done it. Larry and Jamie, they were down to nothing. And somebody brought them food and they got a bunch of money and stuff. Yeah. to get food and to be able to pay their bills. And the other day they were at the pond and Angel found a $20 bill under the tire. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And then he was like, that's just because they forget about it. God done it. God yeah. done it. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And I'm thankful that our prayers get answered. And there's bits and pieces of hope come. Yes. Yes. When everything feels like it's just crashing down, that hope comes again. Yes. And I'm thankful for everything he does. I told God, I said, Daisy may not give you the glory for anything, but I'll give it to you for you. <laughs> whether it's something little or whether it's big. Yes. And like I got that really good to testify to Kayla the other day. I've been asking God to help me because sometimes it seems hard to explain stuff. Even when I'm behind here, it's hard to explain stuff. I feel like I've got it figured out, but then it just goes some other way. Yes. But I saying that. <laughs> there's a scripture, I believe it was in Matthew. In all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer believing, ye shall, ye shall receive. Ask and ye shall receive. Seek and ye shall find. Man. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Right. I found those two scriptures earlier today. And I'm thankful for that one. In all things whatsoever ye ask in prayer believing, ye shall receive. I'm believing that I'm going to get patience. I'm believing I'm going to get all the fruit of the Spirit. Yeah. Amen. I'm believing Gabby's going to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. I'm believing that Terry's going to be filled with the Holy yes. Ghost. All these kids in here. I'm, I'm believing that Danny will be here. I'm believing Kayla will come back. Yes. But I'm thankful for all he does for me. And I'm thankful that he's blessed me beyond measures. I got more than what I need. I got good parents that love me, that care for me. And I'm thankful to be 
here? Think you want to be behind here again? No. Bless you, Lord. I believe it's all I got. It's all right.